Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Here, Dan Lakshmi, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. In this session, we will be discussing about few OOPS concepts in Python. What is class? What is subject? Types of constructor, concept of encapsulation, getter and setter methods. What is class? Class is a user defined data type which made up of set of data members and methods. Data members are real time entities like name, age, register number, marks, length, breadth and all valid variables. A class is a user defined that contains both data and methods. Collection of objects are also known as class. Here student is a class, name, register number, address or data members which is also known as attributes or properties of a class. Calculating total, grade, CGPA or methods or functions. This is the syntax for create a class in Python. Class is a keyword. Class name is a user defined type. This statement must be terminated with colon. Body of the class made up of methods and functions. The class is made up of attributes and methods. Class method must have an one extra parameter called self. We must include self parameter in every python method which cannot accept any values but we need to include that parameter called self. Next one what is object? Instance of a class is known as object. We can create any number of object for a class. With the help of object only, we can access data members and data methods of a class. Syntax for creating an object. Object name is equal to class name. Object name is user defined name. Class name is corresponding class name. The object is created using the class name only. When we create an object of the class, it is called initiation. For example, here b1 is the object name is equal to bike. Here we are creating an object called b1 using the class name bike. Here this is one example program for how to use class and objects in Python. Here class is a keyword bike is a class name name and price are data members initially name holds the value pulsar price holds the value 90000 which contains only one method called this self is a mandatory parameter print statement which is used to print the value on the screen bike name is equal to pulsar price is equal to 90000 will be printed on our python screen this diagram shows the relationship between class and object. Here student is a class which contains name, register number, mark 1, mark 2, mark 3, mark 4 are data members, total average and grade are methods of a class student. Here I created 4 objects student 1, student 2, student 3 and student 4. These 4 objects shares the data members and methods of a class student. Next one is constructor. Constructor is a special method which is called automatically when we are creating the object of a class. Constructor is called automatically when we create the object of the class. In C++ or Java, constructor has the same name as it is class. In Python, we have a special method called init method. Here, def is a keyword. Init is a constructor method which is succeeded and preceded by double underscore. Self is a parameter. This statement terminated with colon. Body of the constructor contains set of codes of constructor. There are two types of constructors, default constructor and parameterized constructor. Default constructor, the default constructor is a simple constructor which does not accept any values from the user. For example, here in this class sample, we have two methods. Init is a constructor method, display is the class method. Every Python program starts with main method. In main method, in this statement, we are creating the object A1. At the time of object creation, automatically the constructor function will be invoked. So here, I just assigned the string Satyabama is one of the reputed institution in India assigned to variable S. Yes. Then we call the function display. The output will be like this. Parameterized constructor. 
constructor with parameter is known as parameterized constructor. The parameterized constructor takes its first self and the rest of the arguments are provided by the programmer. The first parameter is self, the remaining programmer, the values of remaining parameters will be given by the programmer at the time of program execution. This is the example program for parameterized constructor. In this class addition, we have three methods, one constructor method, two class methods, display and calculate. This is the main method. When we are creating the object A1, 1000 and 2000 automatically assigned to F and S because in it is a constructor function. When we are calling the object A1, it automatically invokes the init function. So, 1000 assigned to F. 2000 assigned to S. Again, we are assigning the value of 2000 assigned to the variable second. We call the function calculate. In this function, we just the values of first and second added together. The answer will be assigned to answer variable. We call the function display. Here, we just display the numbers. First number is equal to 1000. Second number is equal to 2000. Addition of two numbers is equal to 1000 plus 2000 is equal to 3000. Again, we created another one object called A2 with, with two parameters 10 and 20. Unit function will be called automatically 10 assigned to F, 20 assigned to S. Again, we added the two values together and answer will be stored in answer. So, answer now answer contains the value 30. 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. Then we print the values of first number is equal to 10, second number is equal to 20, addition of two numbers is equal to 30. Actually, in default constructor, which cannot accept any values, but in parameterized constructor, it accepts one or more parameters. The next concept is encapsulation. Code and data are wrapped together to form a single unit is called encapsulation. Encapsulation is used to restrict access of class methods and variables. There are three access modifiers in Python, public, private and protected. We can access public members anywhere or anywhere in the program. Private variables only accessed inside of the class. Protected variable, we can access protected variable within the class and subclass. We cannot access protected member from outside of the class. This is the example program for how to use public member in Python program. In this class, rectangle contains two public variable length and breadth. Initially, it holds the value 0. There are one constructor function, one class method. When we are creating the object rect, automatically constructor function will be invoked. The values 5 assigned to length, the 3 assigned to breadth. Next, we call the function display. Just we print the values of length and breadth. So, 5 and 3 will be printed on the screen. Next, in main program, just we are trying to print the values of length and breadth in main method. Length and breadth are public variable, so we can print the values of 5 and 3 in main method. The next one is private member. Private member is accessible only inside class. We cannot access private variable outside of the class. Define a private member by prefixing the member name with 2 underscore. That is 2 underscore age. Age is a private variable. Name is a private variable because this is preceded by double underscore. In this class rectangle, Length and breadth are private variables because this variable preceded by double underscore initially which holds the value 0. When we are creating the object right automatically init constructor function will be called. We assign the value 5 to length 3 to breadth. We call the function this. In display method we just print the values of length and breadth. Length and breadth are private variables we can access inside of the class. So, we can able to print the values 5 and 3 on the screen. Next, in main method, I am trying to print the values of length and breadth. Now, the Python throws an error because length and breadth are private variable. We cannot access outside of the class. We can access only inside of the class. We cannot access outside of the class. So, Python throws an error. The next one is Protected member, protected member is accessible from inside the class and its subclass. That is, we can access the particular variable inside of the class and its subclasses only. We cannot access protected members outside of the class. In this class, 
length and breadth are protected variable because protected variable preceded by single underscore if the variable preceded by double underscore that is called private variable if the variable preceded by single underscore that is called protected variable from this class i created a subclass called exam this exam class contains only one constructor method just print the value values of length and breadth this is the main method i created a object called e1 at the time of object creation automatically a constructor function will be called the values of length and breadth will be printed on the screen the value of 10 and 20 will be printed on the screen now i am trying to print the protected variable length and breadth in main method now python throws an error because we cannot access pro uh, protected variable in outside of the class only inside of the class and its subclass only we can access the protected variable we cannot access outside of the class the next one is getter and setter method as we study it we cannot access private variables out outside of the class to overcome this problem we have two methods called getter and setter getter method is used to, to access class private attributes outside of the class setter method is used to, to set the value to private attributes in a class this is one example here age is a private variable because it is preceded by double underscore when we are trying to print the private variable in main means our python throws an error because we cannot access private variable outside of the class here this is the example program for how to use getter and setter methods in python this is the main method this is class definition here i created a object s1 of class sample when i am creating the object in s1 automatically constructor function will be called 5 assigned to private variable age now i print the value before calling the set function i call the method get age here the value of private variable written by the function get age so 5 will be printed on the screen next set function is used to set the new value to the private variable now i pass 19 the parameter 19 to set function now a holds the value 19 the 19 value again assigned to private variable age so here just we are printing age after calling the set function then call the function get age now the value of private variable age converted into 19 so 19 will be printed on the screen thank you